The Temptations had a hit song with these lyrics. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. Well, I guess you say, what can make me feel this way? Talking about when I was a little kid, Vietnam had lots of cloudy days. We had to leave to find sunshine in the United States. But the clouds followed me. There were lots of struggles. We had to adapt to a new culture, a new country, a new cuisine. But my biggest struggle had to do with a young lady. Toastmasters. I've been speaking English since I was five years old. I've always thought myself as a native English speaker. I could read it, and as a little kid, I like to watch lots of TV. So I could hear it. But what would you do if people made fun of the way you talk? I was a quiet child. My mom was worried. My teachers were worried. My toys were worried. <laughs> I got encouragement from my school teacher. She said I was special. And she showed it by making me get in front of the entire class. Go ahead, you can do it. And I did. I could S-P-L-L, -L, spell. And I could spell so well that I got a trophy as the school spelling bee champion. But my teacher lifted me up while some of the kids brought me down. Oh, so you can spell? Well, what makes you think you're so special? Well, you're trying to say it. Say G-I-R-L. I've been traumatized by what they said next. What? What'd you say? Speak English. From elementary school to middle school to high school to college to my professional career after joining Toastmasters after years of giving speeches in Toastmasters I still avoid saying a specific word <coughs> instead I always say <coughs> young woman, female, or young lady. Should my pride keep me from saying part of the English language? What would you do? I googled how to pronounce G-I-R-L. I found out it's a common problem that young kids have. Kids up to the second grade may have problems pronouncing that those combination of letters. So, a few years after my second grade, I finally got a speech tutor called YouTube. <laughs> G I R L. Four letters, three sounds. The first sound is G. Repeat after me. G. 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 
The next sound is formed by two letters, I-R. The last sound is what speech pathologists call <coughs> a dark L. You, you pronounce it by moving your tongue to the tip of the roof of the mouth, but not touching the roof of the mouth. So the tip of the tongue is towards the roof of the mouth, but not touching it, and the back of the tongue goes down. So you pronounce it by saying, oh, oh, oh. Now, slowly, one part at a time. Good. Uh, oh. Now combine the first two parts. Oh. 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 I finally feel my clouds breaking away. Toastmasters, what are your clouds? You may have some people bringing you down. And they may make funny faces at you while you're trying to bring you down. How will you find your sunshine? Maybe there's a school teacher who will give you encouragement. Or maybe someone who's making instructional videos on the internet. Or a group who helps you with your struggle every day step of the way. Will my voice make it sound as beautiful as the temptations? Well, I need your help with that. So, if you know the lyrics, sing with me. Well, I guess you say what can make me feel this way? My girl, my girl, Talking about my girl. My girl. Post-match. <laughs> 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 Let's give him another round of applause.